Hey everybody, this is Larry up in Brandon, Minnesota. Say, if you want a really great treat, these are just out of this world awesome. The other night I want to really make something different. And these are so easy to make and you can really custom make them to the way that you really want to do it. And here's what I got. You start off with, you get some of these wonton wraps, okay? I got them, and then what I use is some real mozzarella, not the stuff in the bag. This is the real deal. You can get this in a deli part, uh, deli case by uh, Walmart's God and stuff, and you peel it off, and it's already pre-sliced, and you cut it up and do it. But here, what I've got is I got some pizza sauce, I got the mozzarella, I got some pepperoni. If you've never tried the pepperoni from the Walmart deli. It's rocking awesome. It is. The slices are about as big as the top of a coffee cup. I mean, they're really nice sized pepperoni. It's not the greasy, crappy stuff you usually get in those little bags you buy. It's a really good, high quality pepperoni. I love it. I got some mild Italian sausage that they had. Cut it out of the links, browned that up, some hamburger, and seasoned that up. And I got my wonton wraps. Now, of course, you can do this any way you want. You can put black olives in it. You can put onions in it. You can put a little some uh, diced up jalapenos. You can make it your own. But, but I was doing this for the kids, and they just wanted something straight up. So this is what I did. Okay, I started off by taking these wonton wraps, okay? And there's about 50 of them, a little more than 50, in one of these packages, and they're cheap. I took them out, and I put them in muffin tins, okay? Pushed them down in there so they made little cups. Then I popped them in the oven for about two to three minutes, okay? Take them out, and then you take your pizza sauce. And I got a little silicone brush. I love this thing. And I dipped it in there and just rubbed it all over the inside and really coated it good. Then I took one of those pepperoni uh, slices and pushed it down there with a couple fingers to really spread it out and to make it pretty much take the same shape as those little uh, wonton wraps, okay? Then I put some hamburger in the bottom, seasoned hamburger, and you can, like I said, you can put anything you want in. Then I put some Italian sausage. Then what I do is I take that mozzarella cheese and it's so, if you've never had real mozzarella cheese, you got to try it. It's so great. Or you can sprinkle your own on a provolone or Swiss or pepper jack or make it your own baby, you know. I cut it in fours because it's a pretty nice right, a round sized disc that you, that you peel off that mozzarella. And I put that on top. Popped them back in the oven, baked them about seven or eight minutes. Feel the little edges on the, that wonton. You don't want them hard, but you want them just firm and stuff until it melts. Take them out, and I'm telling you what, these are killer good. Uh, my two grandsons were over here, and I, we made a ton of them, and I gave them some extra ones to take them back to their roommates. Uh, one of them has got like four or five roommates, and, and another one went over to his, uh, a friend's house, and there was a bunch of guys over there. And man, right away, they called me up, and they wanted a recipe. They just went wild over them. So this is such an easy way to make little pizza bites or whatever you want to call them, and uh, you make it your own way. They could just really, they're really, really good. Footballs on, uh, all, you know, just if you want to do it on a Friday night, Saturday night, something different, you got to make these. They are really good. This is Larry on Brandon, Minnesota. Ciao.